Yo, hey everybody. Uh, so in this video, working on this bike here that's a daily commuter. Uh, it's pretty neglected, hasn't seen a lot of maintenance in quite some time. And the, the chain is pretty, pretty rough, pretty worn, and pretty bagged out. Uh, as well as the rest of the drivetrain. Uh, you can see, you know, the chain is pretty stretched and it's not even really fitting on the chain ring at this point. So, had a pretty good suspicion that the cassette was going to be blown out as well. So, anyway, I'm going to show you kind of what I do um, to check it. First off, we're going through this chain and it's measuring at 1.56 millimeters over 4 inches of... You know, and you set it to zero, set it on the chain, and that's how it shows how far it's stretched out it is. So definitely beyond the 0.8 millimeters of recommended uh, replacement. Or, and so, you know, this I got a new chain here compared to the old, that chain. And you can see over, on not even the end of the chain, it's already a quarter inch out. You can, you know, just if I push that back and forth, you can just see how much slop is in those rollers in comparison to a new these are both the same shimano 10 speed uh hg or whatever the 6700 chain there <clears throat> um anyway i pretty well suspected the cassette was going to be worn out and visually looking at it it honestly didn't look too bad the um you know the teeth weren't super pointy or anything but I, you know i did notice there was the little you know, the telltale little lip there, the little mushroomed over from the, you know, the, a worn chain will will eat up a cassette really quickly. So if you've got a chain that's that worn out, chances are you're going to need to replace the cassette also. Um, so, you know, what I'll look for first before I really do anything, I know there, there are some tools that will measure uh, the, you know, you can put on the cogs there, but uh, I'll look for just a big valley there between the teeth if it's like a really wide deeper valley that's worn away and then just that little lip the little mushroom on the, the leading edge of the tooth where a chain drives into it uh, you know and lots of folks you know I see this on forums and all kinds of things you know people are like oh is this cassette worn out well this is a brand new cassette and as you can see the teeth are not they're definitely not symmetrical from tooth to tooth. There's just some that you know, just machining that is going to be on the cassette for that's going to enhance your shifting going, you know, from the smaller cogs up to the larger cogs under power. So that was a new cassette. But anyway, what I like to do is just put the new chain on and uh, just go out and I'll hold the the brakes on and just pedal it, you know. So you're having to really apply a lot of power to keep the bike moving and that's a pretty good way to at a low speed safe way to check and see if it's going to slip um so obviously this one's slipping you know and it's kind of in that maybe from that middle maybe the this gear and then the next couple gears were slipping so that's how i like to test them i'll just take it out do this thing hold the brakes on and go really slow like this and if it slips and pops under load you need to replace it Otherwise, fell smooth, keep running it. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And check out some of these other videos if you found this one interesting. I'll see you guys next time.